what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to be talking about some uh interesting things going on later this year with the uh cast of jeepers creepers and i want to talk about a potential route that the tv series could take if we were ever to get a tv series uh because as we all know uh, the cathedral script, the script we were supposed to get originally for the third and final entry in Jeepers Creepers, uh, that got turned into a one season miniseries. This is according to Jonathan Breck. He disclosed that uh, I believe shortly after the third film released a couple years back or right before it released. Uh, he disclosed that Victor had translated the, the cathedral script, the original uh, script planned for part three. He turned that into a one season TV series. And of course, I know we all would like to see a miniseries that builds into a fourth film. Um, but what I, I want to talk about uh, another potential route we could take for a mini series based off of some tidbits that I, I'm pretty sure uh, these are old tidbits that Gina Phillips has disclosed uh, right before Jeepers Creepers 3 had came out in theaters. Uh, she disclosed a few tidbits regarding the future of the franchise, talking about Jeepers Creepers 4, and she's already, she essentially confirmed that she did read the script and everything. If this is all stuff you've heard before, uh, that's, that's fine. We're going to get into some new fresh stuff, uh, towards the middle section of this video. But a few years ago when she was asked or doing an interview with, uh, Diabolique magazine, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, she, she basically was reiterating her stance and her position in Jeepers Creepers 3 and how she was basically there to just set up what was going to happen next in part four. Uh, and she did disclose that Victor Salva has written what happens from the second after the conclusion of Jeepers Creepers 3. So Victor has the script ready for part four, which is going to pick up right after part two, uh, hopefully in the barn with the Taggarts. Uh, and then she went on to say that she thinks that's all she's allowed to say about it. But he wrote it in such detail and he had a lot of flashbacks to what happened over the years that made it very easy for me. So that tells us already that the fourth script uh, planned for Jeepers Creepers 4 has a lot of flashbacks Maybe not as many as she's making it seem. Maybe she's exaggerate, exaggerating a bit. But there's flashbacks in the script that are going to be letting us catch up with Gina Phillips' character of Trish Jenner. Letting us catch up with the character. See how she's been dealing with uh, the loss of Derry back in the original film from 2001. How she's been moving through life and what she's been doing. And how she's been prepping and getting ready for the inevitable return of the creeper that she was... Uh, made aware of by the psychic Giselle so many years ago when she lost her brother. Uh, and we know she does have a son. Uh, Gina Phillips goes on to say that I get to see, or I got to see what will eventually happen to the character. And he put enough flashbacks in there that I got to see what happened to her over the last 15 years. Uh, let's just say there's more to come. Now, what, what's interesting to me is how she only says she got to see what happened to her over the last 15 years. Um, so, I don't, I don't really understand that part of it, really. We don't we, we don't have flashbacks spanning over 23, just 15 years, whatever. Um, so, as we all know, nothing really has come out about Jeepers Creepers 4 since then, other than just uh, little rumors and things that, of course, were not true. I know at one point, um, I was tipped off that it was filming in Canada. Uh, by someone who is in the industry so as far as i i'm made aware of that might have very well have been the case and they just pulled the plug on it or something was probably lined up for it and they pulled the plug on it for whatever reason um now what i want to talk about was what gina phillips said there about how we're gonna have flashbacks that are gonna allow us to catch up with the character of, of trish and see what she's been doing since the first movie I want to talk about a potential route we could take for a miniseries because at the be at the ending of Jeepers Creepers 3, we have Trisha appearing um, on a like on a MacBook or whatever that is, an iMac. I, I don't have Apple products really. I'm not an Apple person. <laughs> she was typing and making some type of declaration and some announcement stating that she was ready for the creeper and she was she seemed like she was trying, trying to rally up uh, like a, a group of individuals come and stand against this thing to take it down once and for all. Um, what I would like to see from a mini series and a route I would like to see a mini series take is let's see what Trish has been doing. Let that mini series be about Trish. 
Uh, we could see her researching and learning things about the Creeper. This miniseries could be used to give some backstory on some elements of the Creeper that Trish has learned about it. And we could just spend more time with this character than spending time uh, learning about the Creeper. Because what you could do in this angle is now we're catching up with Trish. We can see Trish possibly build up an army. The ar an army that's going to be used in Jeepers Creepers 4. She could be meeting with other victims in the Poho County area or other victims in the town that she lives in now. Because I know originally in the third film she was going to be some rich and wealthy powerful woman. Uh, and she had orchestrated and funded some type of... Uh, some type of uh, spiritual thing that was going on with the creeper at the Taggart barn. So maybe she has been recruiting and reaching out and discovering things about other attacks that the creeper has, the creeper has done. Because uh, at this point, the internet is very popular. So maybe she's come across things like websites where people are sharing strange encounters and she's found a way to connect with these people and she's learned and connected the dots that this must have been the thing that took her brother 23 years ago. And maybe she has found even images of it online of people saying uh, they found something strange in the Poho County area. And this could be just pictures that were taken several years ago that they never got to share anywhere because of the fact that social media wasn't this big then. But now they're sharing old photos from 2001 all over the Internet. Images of spottings of the creeper could be there. Uh, people that are just coming out and sharing stories about strange encounters uh, with a winged bat with a winged looking bat thing uh, we could just see how trish has been connecting and reaching out to those who have potentially been harmed by the creeper or have lost someone to the creeper and she's been rallying an army against it for these past 23 years uh, we could see her do all these things and while we're doing that we're at the same time learning new things about the creeper we're learning that his his resume of victims and the people he's left brokenhearted is very long. We can see that he has a lot of people who want to take him out for good. We might also be able to connect with some old past characters from the second film. Maybe she reaches out to some survivors from part two, such as Double D, maybe Izzy, who is still alive somehow. Rhonda, uh, other characters that we could be connecting back with. Bucky, several people, uh, Sergeant Tubbs. Um, several people that she could be reaching out to. Maybe she even has a scene where she reconnects with Giselle because we know Giselle and Trish, I feel like they, they weren't on the best of terms after what happened with Derry. Uh, that's what I would like to see from a miniseries. I'd like to see Trisha researching the Creeper, her recruiting an army that would ultimately lead into what we get in part four. And then of course, in this miniseries, this is just basically taking place 23 days before the Creeper wakes up. What I would like to see happening in this miniseries is while we're spending so much time with Trish and she's learning all these things about the Creeper, uh, we're having a countdown reminder of each episode telling us 22 days until it's time. And then in episode three, 21 days until it's time. Episode uh, four, 20 something days till it's time. 19, 18, consecutively counting down. Each episode is counting down to the creeper till it's time for the creeper to reawaken. And then at the end of the miniseries, she gets a call from Jack Taggart who tells her that it's time. And then the miniseries can just end there leading us into a cliffhanger ending that of course is there to set up the next chapter which is going to be our fourth and final film jeepers creepers 4. that's what i would like to see that's how i would like to see us get bridged in the jeepers creepers 4 catching up with trish seeing her build up an army seeing her and her research on the creeper what she's all collected and gathered from it seeing her um, get a phone call from the taggers to announce that it's time and it's time for the creeper to reawaken then she has that way to the Taggart Barn and the series, the, the, the one season mini series can just end there with her on the way to the Taggart Barn or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, that's just me. But also I want to talk about something that's going on in Texas later this year. Now this month there was supposed to be a convention, the Texas Frightmare Convention. Justin Long, Gina Phillips, and Jonathan Breck were all supposed to be there and it was supposed to be a cast reunion. Now if I'm a Betty man, I've, of course they're going to be asked several questions regarding Jeepers Creepers. We could have been getting something. We could have. This could have been the month where we could have gotten some news regarding Jeepers Creepers 4. Because as of right now, we, we aren't getting anything. Victor Salva is pretty much in hiding. We don't, we don't hear too much ever from Victor Salva. Uh, this month, they were going to have a reunion at this Texas Frightmare convention with all three of them on a panel, I believe. Maybe not all together as a cast, but I believe they were going to do that because it was advertised as a reunion. You can look it up. The Texas Frightmare convention, all three of those people were going to be there. Gina Phillips, Justin Long, Jonathan Breck, all three of them were going to be there. Uh, 
So what I would like to see is or what I what what makes me kind of upset is how this month we could have gotten some news on a possible fourth film. We don't know what questions they could have been asked. They could have been asked something about a fourth entry and we could have gotten some tidbits, maybe a little bit of other things that they were expecting to get out of a fourth film. Maybe they could have shared some other things about the script that they all are aware of. Um, and maybe Trish or Gina could have answered some things regarding what what's going on if she's been in communication with Victor Salva. But that's all been postponed till late in September. So around September sometime, I, I feel like everyone should be on alert for any potential news that might come out of that convention. Uh, if we get any updates on Jeepers Creepers 4 when the cast does have that reunion. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.